Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy, and you know, this is a cool time of year. The fall's starting to kind of slowly descend in on, on Billings here in Montana. Things are starting to cool down. That means a lot of wildlife's getting ready, of course, for the winter to come. So you can see a lot of cool things right now that you don't normally see. We're going to talk about that over the next couple of uh, uh, episodes here. And this came to uh, about when I was walking through the plaza here at the zoo. I looked down and I saw this incredible spider. I'm going to put him right down here, so get ready. This guy is cool. See if I can get him out here. Oh, man, there he is. Look at that thing. This is called a wolf spider. Now, two sad things about this guy. He's slowing down, which means he's probably reached his age that he may not live much longer. But this guy also has a broken leg, and it's on the back here. I don't know if I can turn him around and see. But the cool thing about these spiders is the fact that they're survivors. So even though, though this guy has a broken leg and it's going to hinder him a little bit, he's still going to be able to survive and do the hunting that he needs to do. And what's cool about these wolf spiders is this is actually called a Carolina wolf spider. And they, they are here in Montana. But the cool thing about them is how big they are. They are big animals. Look how big that thing is. One of the bigger wolf spiders in the country, actually. Now, a lot of people see this spider and they say, oh, it's going to hurt me. Well, guess what? The good news is... They're not known to be very aggressive, which means this thing's not going to race at you and bite you just to bite you. It takes a lot for a wolf spider to bite, but here's the good news. Say you do get bit by a wolf spider, you're going to be okay. Their venom, not strong at all, very, very weak. It really has no significance on you. The only thing you got to worry about, it's going to hurt. It's going to be like a bee sting. That's about it. But other than that, the cool thing about these wolf spiders is that not only do they get big, but if they're in your house... They can be kind of creepy because, listen to this, they have really big eyes right at the front of their face. They're eight eyes, as a matter of fact, and they reflect light. So at night, if you're walking through your house, maybe you have something like a flashlight, and you come across a wolf spider, their eyes are going to glow like a cat's eyes. That's creepy to see a spider do that. So sometimes people get pretty fearful of these guys. But one last thing I want to mention, I don't know if we can get a close-up look or not, but right on the very front, a lot of people see these two little things that come out the front of their face right there. They're not legs, and they're not as fangs. They're called pedipales, and they're kind of little tools that he uses to help him eat and kind of move some food. And then, of course, you see his eight legs there, and on the very back, he's got two little things that come out of his rump. Those are called spinnerets, and that's where he likes to build his web. Now, this guy, not really known to build many webs. They actually dig burrows. There are holes in the ground. They get down in that hole, and they wait for things to fall in that hole, and then they eat them up for dinner. And of course, just like any spider, they inject the venom, it turns the insides of those animals to goo, and they drink it up. That's cool stuff. So guys, look out for these spiders. They are fun to see because they're so big. They're kind of shocking at how big they can get here in Montana. The Carolina wolf spider. Until next time, guys, I am Jeff the Nature Guy. We'll see you real soon.